Restorative practices are in absolute agreement with our mission statement because it speaks to more than just an academic profile. It speaks to the manner in which you interact, communicate, develop respect. I'm a veteran of dealing with all different ways of dealing with students, uh, facing their difficulties, talking about them in groups, uh, working one-on-one -on -one with them. All of these things have really changed the climate. When you start talking to a pupil, they are surprised. They are used to be uh, scolded at by uh, adults. I want the children to understand why it is they shouldn't do the things that we don't want them to do and to not do it because they don't want to do it because they feel in their heart that it's wrong. I, I, I really started to fight. It doesn't matter whether you know you're teaching students at a regular public school in an urban area, a suburban area, it doesn't matter who you are, sort of where you are. It's a very useful tool or a way of thinking. Because there's never been a real solution to the problem of student misbehavior, we've embraced a lot of new things when they come down the pike uh, in hopes of finding something that really works. Well, we finally found something that really works. And that's called restorative practices.